Hey guys, Jason here for Char Guys, taking a look at the lovely 5G sector, starting with the ETF 5G. Today we have a, a magnificent inside bar forming, a lot of consolidation today, and really gets represented well with this nice inside bar, long lower wick, tiny upper wick, just showing that overall consolidation with a titch of volatility. What's important is we bounced right off of our EMA5 today, so bulls are still in control. Tomorrow we're going to be looking for a break over 2545 for upside continuation. If we manage to do that, then our next resistance is going to be over here. Probably going to be paying close attention to the high of 2594. So about uh, 50 cents away and change, something like that. A couple days probably to get there if we see some bull strength, but that is our next major resistance on the daily time frame. If we lose 25.25, our low is over at 24.92 for our daily higher low support. If we lose that, the gap fill is likely with the next support being at 24.27. On the 15 minute time frame, let's see if we have any indication of momentum. Slightly higher highs on the 15, showing a little bit of bull strength toward the end of the day. And that's why we have that long lower wick. So early tomorrow, what we want to look for is increased volume, bullish commitment, and a break of 25.44 and 25.47 for some nice upside potential. We'll be paying close attention to that. Let's take a look at ABGO. ABGO on the daily time frame. Another inside bar as well. We'll clear our charts, get a fresh perspective there. Similar to 5G, we are holding the EMA5, which is important. As long as bulls can stay above that, they are maintaining this average. And the average is useful because it tells you in a nice visual way who's in control and who's not. If we lose 5 EMA tomorrow, it's likely that we're going to see a shift in momentum, in which case we're going to look for support at 305.13. That's our current daily higher low. Should we break bull? On AVGO, we have some resistance. Well, today's high break day resistance is what we need to break. But yesterday's resistance, 313.60 and then 319.50. On the 15 minute time frame, who is in control of AVGO? Well, ever so slightly going toward the bulls, sorry, the bears rather, bulls controlled most of the day, but we lost 15 minute higher lows and we failed to, to regain them into the end of the day. So momentum going into after hours is slightly for the bears, but we've got some nice defined ranges and we'll see what sort of action we can get pre-market after hours, although it's pretty sparse over here pre-market, at least this morning. So what we're gonna be looking for, I will be watching the high of the afternoon as a first indicator, 313.05. Then I want to see bulls take out that high day, 313.24. Then we've got a couple key resistances to watch out for, 319.50, 315.71, 313.90. If we fail to do that, we have support at 310 and 305.13. MRVL on the daily time frame. How are we looking there, guys? Still hold held our EMA5 on the daily. Another inside bar, this one not looking as strong as AVGO, so we'll be looking for the downside potential. And we need to hold that EMA. Like I said, if we lose EMA, all we have is our daily supports. We do have a couple here that are useful for us. 2655, 2645, and if we lose those, then we're gonna have a lot of momentum, likely gonna fill that gap. So bulls need to maintain the composure that we've seen up here. The longer we stay up here, the longer or the more. A positive it is for further upside continuation. This is a nice sideways consolidation. Again, watching the range of our inside bar, 15 minute time frame. There's that action, the high 2710 in the late morning, early afternoon. And then we see bears in control of the price action going into the end of the day. 2690 is our 15 minute low that we need to hold above, probably a higher low on the hourly time frame. And there it is. So let's check out XLNX. XNLX on the daily time frame. I said that really fast. I'm kind of proud of myself. All right, let's clear our charts. Actually, let's not clear our charts. We've got to pay attention to that wedge here on the daily time frame. If you recall from last week, we've got a little bit of a wedge shape on the weekly that we need to be paying attention to. Inside bar again today. Nice indecision candlestick. Very, very tight range. Very, very similar upper and lower wick. So complete lack of decision. And what's interesting is we're holding our EMA 12. We closed or opened below our EMA5, but we managed to regain it and still held a key level of support in the form of that EMA12. So if we see some nice trend changes here, we have potential for a reversal based on this indecision candlestick, what this candlestick itself does not uh, indicative of any direction. If we go to the 15 minute time frame, who is in control? Pretty much no one. Chop back and forth all day, ever so slight 15 minute uptrend, establishing that 9560 resistance so like the other guys we need to take out that thing right in the early morning that's ideal close over 9560 break that resistance down back test it and then move on we have some resistance at i pay attention to 9625 9737 if we fail to do that 9419 and 9330 would be our support levels 
INSG on the daily time frame. INSG on the daily time frame, not an inside bar. Bear is in control of this candlestick. Despite getting this lower wick, we have that key support at 450. If we fail to hold that support, we have uh, our next support at 442, then nothing to 361. Actually, I spoke too, too soon. $4.11. Bear with me. I've got a, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> uh, uh, toothache. Yeah, it's should have been easier to remember that got a nasty toothache slash canker sore so it's a little bit of a task to speak today but i love these charts so much i can't stop daily time frame 40 resistance 450 support and now if we go to the 50 minute time frame it started to look pretty interesting here you can see over multiple days we're just oscillating between these two ranges so it's this is absolutely critical 450 support with a little bit of a descending triangle it's not a, a linear enough trend for us to draw on but let's try and draw it anyway, why not? So what we'll do is we'll just go grab our trend line and try to make just the line of best fit. Ultimately, it's too spread out and it's not gonna fit well, but you see how we just get this action. It's not a tightening range because 504 and then just consistent 480 support, we don't really have the wicks to support that trend line. So that's why we're gonna watch this as a sideways channel, 480 resistance, 450 support. One of those is gonna break, not sure which one. But if we break bear, it's going to be a pretty substantial move because of that daily resistance is so far away down 442, a, uh, 416, and 361. ADI, our last ticker of the day. How did ADI do today? Let's let our trading view catch up and see if we can't get a good analysis. Inside bar on ADI, very popular move today. So what are our ranges? 112.74. And 111.42. This one is not as strong because we did give up our EMA5, a dead not hold as support, and we have a complete indecision candlestick. It doesn't really give us much uh, in the way of direction because it's just right in the middle of the pack. When you see a doji on a top of an uptrend or the bottom of a downtrend, it can give you a little bit of an idea of reversal in the sense that the market is shifting and with a shift of momentum, price action can change. Here we just have complete indecision. Neither side really knows what's going to happen next. So we're going to be looking for the ranges of our inside bar breaks. On the 15 minute time frame, you can see that dip, big attack, relatively meager volume, bulls buying the dip and not really doing much with it. So a little bit of sideways consolidation, ever so slight, a 15 minute uptrend. So a very tiny bias toward the bears going into tomorrow, to the bulls going into tomorrow. Anyway, a lot of inside bars, a lot of indecision and a lot of decisions to be made tomorrow. We'll be following them very, very closely, and uh, we'll check in to see what sort of breakouts or breakdowns we get out of these beautiful inside bars. Thanks for watching. Chartguys.com. Check us out. If you like charts, we like you.